Jim, how'd you see that one? Oh, look, I'm just so happy with them to have that many of your regular players out and have to keep throwing the bibs around and bringing changes. Kira playing her first ever full game in wing attack and then Chris is out of position on the wing. I'm really, really proud of how they got away with that game. That was Serena, she all right? Yeah, she is. Serena had a tooth out earlier in the week and she hasn't been feeling too good since, so the heavy knock really did knock her around. We could have brought her back on if we needed to, but we didn't need to, so I think that's probably a good thing for us. Was it concussion or anything? No concussion, no. Yeah, she had all the tests and things, there was no concussion. Obviously, Kim was a late scratching on Saturday. Good to see the girls step up without their captain. Ah, oh, very, very pleased to see that. And to lose Kim on the day before and then to lose Serena during the match and have all the Sam off for a period of time with blood, I think they regrouped really well and they showed a lot of maturity to be able to get the four quarters. You probably get asked every week about Joe, but Harden's just a freak, isn't she? <laughs> She is a freak. She played very well tonight. And I think, too, you've got to give credit to Kira because the players around her had to keep changing so much. Usually when you bring a young player on, you want the people to be around her to stabilise for her. But we were forced to make so many changes and she just kept ahead and kept going. So how do you cope with a game like that that was quite scrappy and, um, you know, quite a big margin? What do you take away from that? Well, I said at the beginning of the year that I thought we had one of the deepest teams in the league, that I was really happy with the strength that we had on the bench. And we not only had to use them tonight, that we had to use them by throwing them out there unexpectedly. So I'm very happy with how they controlled that. And I think it does show that we have got the depth if we need it. And it puts you into second place now. So where do you stand at this point of the season? We've still got another third to go. How are you feeling? I'm exhausted. <laughs> um, I think we're getting a little bit better every week. I think things that we're working on start to come together in patches, but those patches might be getting a little bit longer. So I think we're building well towards the end of the season. I think you still play the fever in the final round of the season. Is it nice to know you control your own destiny to finish top? Oh, it is, but I'd never be looking that far ahead. All I can care about now is next week. And all four bonus points tonight? Yeah, we needed that and I was really happy, as I said, with all the changes we were forced to make and all the things we faced tonight, it's hard to get eight points in this league, so I'm happy with that. Thanks, Julia. With Kerry's um, on court debut for her time, starting that, what do you think she did well tonight? Well, as I said, I think she, to be able to maintain her concentration, she grew as the game went on, she got better and better. And we had to put Jamie Lee in the middle, which we're not used to. We had to make changes all over the court, but she maintained that and grew in the game. And I think that shows a real maturity. And it's in a position that's foreign to her. She's a goal attack. And looking at Sam, who played a 50th league game today, what happened there in the first quarter? She got a knock and she was bleeding quite a bit. And we had a bit of trouble actually stopping the bleeding. It wasn't actually a nosebleed. She had a cut on the top of her nose, but we had a bit of trouble stopping that altogether. And how happy were you with her performance in her 50th game? Oh, she played very well tonight. And it's disruptive to come off and on and off and on and you've got tape all over your nose and people sticking it up. So she did very well. And in the last quarter there, we had Christina Bryce come on and shoot her and she did quite a solid performance. What do you take away from that? I was happy for her tonight. I thought she was solid. She provided that focus at the end that we needed. And Joe going off is another change for us. So it was good that she could hold the ground. Can you let us know what happened exactly with the injury? Oh, I just went for the ball and clashed um, with Beck's head and unfortunately came off second best. <laughs> That's okay. So yeah, just hit to nose, but it's fine. And it's still looking straight? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully. I haven't actually had Taeyeon uh, to look at it. I was just trying to get back out and court as quick as I could. And congratulations on the 50th game. How are you feeling leading in? Yeah, I think all week um, I had lots of messages and I think it was time for me to reflect on what an actual achievement that is. I don't think I ever thought that that was something that I would be able to achieve. So, and for me, really special coming up against my old um, club. I loved being able to play them for my uh, 50th game and Jane was my coach um, the first couple of years. So it was nice to have her on the sideline as well. So, yeah. <laughs> Take eight points out of today. I think um, six rounds left, five rounds left. You guys are in a position where you can control your own destiny now and finish top. Must be pretty satisfying. Yeah, I think now with the bonus points um, coming through, you have to win those quarters. And for us, uh, last week, we didn't finish that off. So we needed to get eight points today. And I'm proud that um, all of us got on court to be able to do that as a team. Does this team, can you go on and win it all? 
Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, no, I fully back us. It's just about being a bit more consistent and, and a game at a time. This competition is so tough, so you can't look um, so far forward. And I think we've been moving up and down the table um, really easily with how teams are going with those bonus points. So it's just a week at a time. You touched on an on board, but a record crowd here must be kind of nice to play in front of so many. Yeah, absolutely. We love um, playing in Canberra. It's always a packed crowd and they always um, get along to the music and, and push us through, especially those last minutes and a quarter. So, yeah, we love coming to Canberra and I think it was a great game to play in front of them. And quite a few changes today, so how disruptive was it with the changes on I actually think, well I can speak from our defence end, that we um, changed over quite nicely. Um, we're obviously three circle defenders and it was fun to be able to all get out there um, together and I think Christiana did an awesome job um, at wing defence as well. So it just shows the depth in our squad which we're all about.